Sasol today is launching a new low sulfur content fuel. It's at 10 ppm. The last one is 50 ppm and it's a big step for the industry in South Africa. I'm here with the MD of Sasol Oil, Mr. Adam Cameron. What would you say the biggest challenge for this product is in South Africa? Sulfur in diesel has been a long, hotly debated subject. Um, the lower the, the sulfur, you know, the better the product. And uh, Sasol's in a very fortunate position that our technology allows us to produce uh, diesel with less than 10 ppm sulfur. And up until now, it's always been a supply chain and logistics challenge to get it to the market and ensure that the quality remains um, as it was when it left the plant and, and ensuring that the motor is filled up with less than 10 ppm sulfur diesel. We're pleased now that we've overcome all those challenges and we can offer the product to the market. And it's a step in the, in the direction um, that the whole industry in South Africa is moving towards because as part of clean fuels, um, all uh, refineries, traditional and synthetic refineries, will have to produce fuel that meets the Euro 5 specifications. And then there, one of the specification requirements is sulfur less than 10, uh, 10 ppm in diesel. Uh, I'm just wondering, but beyond 2017, um, did you foresee having to improve things again? Or, or do you think you'll have a bit of a grace period before whatever else comes out of after Euro 5? Yeah, um, Euro, Euro 6 has already been spoken about in, in Europe, um, but fortunately for, for uh, fuel producers, it's all around the engine technology and the requirements of the fuel will remain as is required for Euro, uh, Euro 5. But we must also realize that you know, our refineries in our country are now all aging um, and there's a limit in, to which you can uh, you know, retrofit these refineries to produce ever increasing and tightening specifications. So um, the spend that's required for the industry is in the tens of billions of rand to achieve Euro 5. And, and then just finally, what do you think the biggest challenges or challenge will be in terms of launching this product and, and seeing it be a success perhaps in the next two years? You know, customers are spoiled for choice. Uh, it's a competitive environment out there and we, you know, we have a product um, and it, we need to market the product and, and its benefits to the motorist so the motorist chooses to fill up um, at a Sassel forecourt, remembering fuel purchases are grudge purchase um, and very little to differentiate um, between um, various brands. Um, this is one differentiator but we won't own that space forever. Um, and you've also got to offer a, you know, more than just a fuel uh, filling experience at a forecourt now. It's, a, it's a more of a convenience um, point to shop at, um, to eat at, um, as well as to fill up. So the game's changing in the, in the forecourt space and um, we're going to have to stay current um, and move with the times and, and meet the customers' ever increasing demands.